Hello everyone, welcome back. On our last video, we talked about preparing and analyzing your sales reps area. In this video, we're going to jump right into creating territories by reps geographical location. Let's run a reps data set search under GeoPoint locations. Looks like we have two reps in Southern California. Now let's run the territory ownership analyze uh, data set. Based on my reps location, uh, looks like I'll need to split up Southern California into two. My organization uses zip code based uh, territories, uh, so I'll take advantage of that uh, GeoPoint library. Go ahead and click the plus button, click GeoPoint library shapes. Let's go ahead and give it a name. And let's go ahead and save it in this uh, territory folder I created. And for the shape type, select zip. And as you can see, all the zip codes will populate in the viewable area. Uh, by default, the shape editor will hide your layers. Um, so let's go ahead and unhide those. Go ahead and click layers and unhide. Go ahead and click the lasso add. Let's go ahead and start lassoing this area. Go ahead and uh, click and drag uh, out the lasso and seal it. Go ahead and click Save and New. Let's get started on the next territory. Give it a name. Click the lasso again. And as you can see, there's some overlap. Let's go ahead and click the toggle selection type and start clicking those zip codes that overlap. We can even fill in um, zip codes that we might have missed with the lasso. And go ahead and give it a save. Now, if you left click on the shape, you will see the option to change owner. We also have an option to um, update fields. So if you want to update the territory name, you have that option. Uh, on our next video, we'll talk more about how to use assignment plans to automatically update records that fall within uh, these territories uh, with the territory name and update record ownership um, if, if needed. All right. Well, that is all for now. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.